everything I do day to day is something that I look forward to. I get up every morning, I look forward to my workouts, I look forward to seeing my teammates, I look to, forward to teaching, I look forward to ABC. So every day I wake up thinking this is just a great day. I never feel like, wow, this is a rough day. I mean, there's times where things don't go to plan. I mean, everything is, we're humans, but at the end of the day, I really am passionate about what I do. It's so important for people to take care of themselves. I'm a big believer of nutrition. Exercise is really important. I stress that to our teammates as well. Every week we go out and we play tennis, we work out. It's a good camaraderie, but it's also let them know that this is really an important element of life as well, too. I believe being around successful people has definitely shaped myself, and I don't really take I don't have any other gears except fifth gear. So everything I do, I want to do well at, I want to excel at it. I want to provide the best possible results and experience. And that's just always been my makeup and it's probably in my DNA as well too. Initially, I had a passion love for the game of tennis and I was able to obtain a tennis scholarship. After that, I did an MBA at the University of South Carolina. I came back to work in corporate finance and realized it wasn't really my calling. So I by chance got into real estate, but shortly thereafter realized I was really passionate about it and I felt I could make this a long-term career. I've been fortunate, I never think about resting on our laurels and I'm happy about building our team and growing it. And if, for example, today we've got an office opening in Oakville, one in Milton. So we're about growth and that's always been my mindset and I don't see that changing anytime soon. And I'm fortunate that's been my makeup but I think it's also a byproduct of being surrounded by good people and early in my years understanding the importance of positive thinking and doing the right things as well. It was really easy to quit. The first six months to one year, I had a lot of things that didn't go my way. And if I didn't have resolve to stay in the business, I could have exited and never seen the successes I had today. But I knew I had passion in this business, and I felt that if I kept working, I'd work through the issues I had. So that was a big thing for me. I believe there's a strong correlation between sports and business. In fact, in my business practice, I hire a lot of people who are ex-athletes because I know they know how to compete, they can deal well with pressure, and that to me is a big defining character for them to have longevity and success in this industry. And at some point about 10 years ago, we decided we also want to have a piece of the high-end market, and we did a good job with that at a cost in terms of perception of some people thinking we we're no longer going to do low-end, mid-price range, and that was a real fallacy, so we changed our slogan to basically say no house is too big or too small, and people are really surprised when they call now for a two, dollars $300,000 transaction. We go there with the same level of enthusiasm and they realize at that point we're really just trying to build a relationship. The price point is irrelevant to us. Well, one of the advantages of working with us is we provide a lot of value-added services that many other brokers don't provide. We have our own staging team, our own furniture and accessories. We have a full-time inspector, a full-time marketing team, which they have access to at virtually the same cost as any other realtor. And I think a lot of people are afraid to call us, feeling will be really, really expensive. And they're sometimes surprised to find out we're very competitively priced as well. For the next foreseeable future, I don't see myself ever leaving this industry. I'm still very excited and passionate about it. I want to continue growing our brand. I want to go into the city. I have a lot of big plans for ourselves and our team. So I believe the journey is just beginning for us.